hello everyone now in this video we'll see how to create a 3d solid cone in the 3d modeling layout so to do this one the command is cone cone there is no shortcut for this one just we need to type cone cone okay now from the 2d view i'm going to the isometric southwest isometric yes okay <clears throat> Let us see what is the cone. A cone is having a single base that is in the bottom circular base and these generators will be connected to a point called apex. So it forms as a cone. It is defined by the height as well as the radius of the base and this point is the apex. Now let us see. Okay. C O N E. Enter now it asks specify center point of base i'm just giving here center point and now base radius radius i am taking it as 30 mm okay now the height of the cone i'm taking it as 60 mm perfect so this is in the 2d wireframe model if you want to see we can go for the x-ray see clearly we can see that this is the base and this is the apex point we can view in the shades of gray see shaded realistic hidden nothing is there excellent okay now in this case the height is in the z direction the height is in the z direction suppose if i want z height in the sense axis of the cone is in the z direction suppose if you want to tilt in this side to this side horizontal axis so we need to do the rotation of the ucs as we did it in the cylinder ucs click on x now i fixed x and then i am rotating switch on the ortho okay now i rotated see now z is in this direction again cone specify center point and the base radius as 30 now the height is 60 see now i formed in this direction because now the z is in this direction so similarly if you rotate z axis according to that direction the height direction will takes place okay now <coughs> cone Specify center point of base 3 point 2 point tangent tangent radius elliptical the same as we discussed in the cylinder now specify center point <coughs> and then radius as 30 now it is asking 2 point axis end point and then top radius what is 2 point this represents wherever you click the two end points according to the distance the height will take place now you can see that <coughs> now i am drawing a line of 80 mm so this line is the 80 mm cylinder specify center point base radius as 30 oh sorry i have typed cylinder it's a cone cone specify center point base radius 30 and now instead of mentioning height i am just clicking two point that should be the first end point and then second end point see automatically the height shows 80 mm because the line distance is 80 mm perfect so this one is the 80 mm dist uh, height of the cone so this is all about two point <coughs> and then cylinder and you know that 3 point 2 point tangent tangent radius elliptical so i am going to teach you that 3 point <coughs> top view so just i am taking switch off the auto So 
so this is one I used it for the two point height and this is I'm going to use it for the three point cone and this is for the two point cone <coughs> I'm clicking instead of center point I'm taking three points point one point two and then point three see now the base of the cone touches tangentially at the three points <coughs> and now the height I am going to take as 16 see this touches at this point so this is the three point method of forming a code and now the other one is two point specify end point of the diameter second end point of the diameter and height as 16 so this is how we can form a cone in the 3d modeling layout and one more thing <coughs> elliptical so as you see in the cylinder we can form elliptical cone also elliptical now you can see that specify end point first end point switch on the ortho now I am taking it as 150 <coughs> the minor axis I am taking it as 25 now the height of the cone I am taking as 100 see now we formed the <coughs> elliptical cone instead of circular cone I formed the base as a elliptical one and then it meets at the point these vertical lines are the generators as all of you are familiar yes so this is the elliptical cone so we form the complete cones here now how to draw the first form of a cone there is an additional advantage in the 3d modeling layout cone now <coughs> elliptical also we see now specify center point base radius I am taking it as 30 now in the height you will know about the two point axis end point and then top radius so with using the top radius we can form the frustrum of a cone now I am taking the top radius you can see guys the top radius I am mentioning it as 10 mm see height as 70 mm now you can see this is a true perfect cone and this is a frustrum of cone a portion of the cone has been removed you can see so this is how we can draw the frustrum of the cone if you observe carefully in all these things <coughs> there is no orientation of the axis of the cone only it forms vertical or horizontal suppose if you want to tilt you can see that cone specify base radius 30 mm you can't tilt in this direction it forms only in the z direction so that's why there is one more option cone <coughs> base radius 30 mm and now i'm going with the axis end point you can see that you can tilt the axis of the cone any direction yes so this is how the advantage of the <coughs> axis end point so with this we completed the complete tutorial of the cone in the 3d modeling layout